So, what do you guys want to talk about? <clears throat> okay, for real this time. This is a spur of the moment video that I felt like I had to make. WrestleMania weekend was an amazing three days of professional wrestling, but the name doesn't suggest what you think it might. Outside of WWE, there was a ton of great wrestling shows on the weekend and I want to talk about some of them because I thought they were all either really good or amazing shows. I'll start with Super Card of Honor. Tony Khan put together an amazing card that had some pretty good ROH weekly shows in its build up. Just like the weekly shows, Super Card of Honor featured tons of great wrestling matches from the Luchadors, to the women's match, the tag ladder match, to the excellent main event. Wish the show had a stronger crowd though. They got up for some moments like Kingston kicking out of the neutralizer at one and other high spots on the show but they were kind of flat. I can't say enough good things about ROH at the minute. I didn't grow up watching American indie wrestling so 2000s ROH is this mythical time period that I can only really go back and see but not experience in real time. I'm glad that we're finally getting new ROH shows going forward because I've been having a blast watching some of my favorite wrestlers like Shibata win titles and put on its stellar matches. ROH does well with international talent from both Japan and Mexico, I'd love to see this continue. The next show I watched and thoroughly enjoyed was the TJPW Live in LA show. TJPW is currently my favorite promotion in wrestling so I was really looking forward to the show and there was some great stuff here. One of my favorite wrestlers, Miyu Watanabe, was treated like a superstar by the WrestleCon crowd, who were amazing by the way. Her match with Shoko vs Wasteland War Party was great and I recommend giving it a look. Rika Tatsumi vs Billy Starks for the International Princess title was also a damn good match. And Mizuki has two belts now, so fun times to be had in DJPW. Really interested to see how things play out in the spring and summertime over there. This promotion in my opinion has a problem with super conservative, very slow progression style booking for the past few years now. But it feels like with Mizuki as champion, Miyu Watanabe exuding ace energy, and newer wrestlers like Suzume and Arisu Endo showing tons of potential, TJPW set up to have a great year. I'm not sure if this counts as a Mania Weekend show considering it was in Japan and it's a build up for their upcoming Sakura Genesis show, but I watched New Japan's Road to SG show and I really enjoyed what I saw here too. Chota Umino felt like a rock star in his entrance and he's loved by the crowd. I've enjoyed watching his development, he's got big star potential written all over him and he's coming along nice as a wrestler. Shingo Takagi went 38 minutes in a great match against Aaron Hinare. Go out of your way to see this one, it was fantastic. I'm not too familiar with New Japan as I only keep up with a few wrestlers from the promotion, but this is a fine show and I liked a lot of what I saw here and I'll be checking out the Sakura Genesis show too. Okay, let's talk about the big obvious show that everyone's talking about from this weekend. WrestleMania overall ended up being good on both nights. In my opinion, night one was way better. All the right people went over and every match was pretty good except for Theory vs Cena. Rey and Charlotte put on like one of the greatest matches in WWE women's history easily. Dom and Rey also had a great match too. I really hope Dom continues to be great in the ring because he stunk for a long time but he's a great shitter heel so his heat made this feud and this match so much better. Really everyone involved in this story played their part well. The main event of night one was also excellent. The Usos haven't been exactly one of my favorite tag teams the past few years but they showed out in this tag match. KO and Sammy were obviously great, and they have some of the most storied careers in wrestling. All the way from American Legion Hall in Reseda, California, all the way to a WrestleMania main event in a large stadium only a few counties away. Oh yeah, Seth and Logan Paul also had a fun match. Not really a Logan Paul guy, but the match had a ton of fun spots like the KSI frog splash through the table. Seth Rollins carried and the two had a fun match, I can't lie. Night 2 was also good but if I'm honest there were only 2 great matches and they were for the IC title and the Raw Women's Championship. The IC title triple threat was an excellent display of white on white violence. Gunther is him bro, he's gotta be the next world champion or at least within the next 2 years but uh, knowing this company, I gotta see it to believe it. Bianca vs Asuka was excellent uh, as everyone thought it would be. I have to go back and watch Rhea vs Charlotte because I think I might have liked Bianca vs Asuka more. It had better pacing and was more consistent compared to the slower big move trading match that Rhea and Charlotte had. Roman vs Cody was very good but man, <laughs> how about that finish huh? What's up with WWE and never being able to fully stick the landing? 
I'll give it to them. They've done a great job of making people believe that Roman is going to lose the titles like three times now. First Drew, then Sammy, and now Cody. It's honestly remarkable. WWE even failed to stick the landing with Roman himself a few times as well. It's baffling, but it shouldn't be surprising, so I'm not really mad at it. I actually laughed as soon as the three count happened. There was always that little seed of doubt about them giving Cody the titles even though I thought the story was set up to have him win. Stuff like this is why I'm not much of a WWE fan as I used to be. There's too much great wrestling elsewhere to watch for me to be mad or sad about the decisions one company makes. I don't mean to shit on WWE fans by the way. I don't really care if people love or hate this promotion but me personally? I've been watching WWE since I was a kid in 09. For 11 years straight, I watched them make the wrong decisions in the biggest possible moments. At some point, you can only handle that for so long before you start looking elsewhere. And I'm having too much fun looking elsewhere to be honest. WrestleMania was good, but there were better shows this weekend in my opinion. I gotta say however, did not enjoy Bobby Lashley not getting a match at Mania. After the weird stuff with Bray and not getting the third Brock match, it felt like he got the short end of the stick. They only let him pose on stage but gave Miz two matches, like are we serious bro? They were short but come on man, that's ridiculous. At least Snoop Dogg was entertaining as always. It's always a good time seeing him involved in anything wrestling. Let me give a quick shout out to DDT Goes Hollywood. Didn't watch all of that show, but the opening tag match with Chris Brooks, Mao, and Shunmo was great. Before you ask, yes, that is a doll. Its name is Yoshihika. No, I'm not explaining the lore behind that. The main event between Konosuke and Yuki Ueno was great too. The DDT wrestlers are pretty good and I've slowly been getting into that show recently so I'll make an effort to watch it more regularly. Also, shout out to the Mexicans and the Japanese. I'm not gonna lie, the luchadors and Japanese wrestlers have been carrying the American indies for a while now, and they carried some of these shows I looked at. Shout out to the luchadors specifically, Vikingo, Dragon Lee, Commander, Rush, and Drellistico all had really good showings in all their matches over the weekend. Vikingo vs Commander from Supercard of Honor specifically is one of my favorite matches from the entire weekend. The Joshi wrestlers were awesome. And like I said, I didn't see all of the DDT show, but what I saw was easily some of the best stuff I saw over the weekend. This WrestleMania weekend is the first time I took the time to watch a ton of wrestling in the weekend's history, and I had a blast. Looked at what I knew was going to be good, and stayed away from the shows I heard were either mid or pretty bad. Something about this weekend kind of reignited my love for professional wrestling. There was a ton of good wrestling this weekend, despite some questionable decisions on a few shows, but aside from that, this weekend allowed me to put a lot of things into perspective about my enjoyment of wrestling, and I came out the other side with a stronger love for it. Professional wrestling is uh, pretty damn good at the minute. The American indie scene kind of stinks though, but uh, we ain't worried about that. Shout out to you for watching this video. Any thoughts about Mania Weekend or the state of wrestling as a whole right now? Share them in the comments and stick around. That's all I got for now. Peace.